Hey, I'm Ted Vera. Hope you guys are doing great. Did you guys have a good weekend? Labor Day weekend, right? Yeah. You know, Sunday came up, and I thought, I, I need to get out of the house. I want to go do some photography. And at first, I was planning on going out to the coast. I thought, I'll go out to Long Beach, get some coastal photography. Man, it'll be a blast. Hang out in nature. See the ocean. I love that stuff. But then I thought, you know what? It's Labor Day weekend. It's a holiday. And it's the weekend. If I go out to the coast, I want no people there. I want nature photography, right? Not um, Coney Island kind of photography. So I looked at the uh, weather app again. And I saw that Portland's got some clouds. Yeah, Portland would have some clouds today. That could be a lot of fun. Now, if I go to Portland, I'm going to be shooting street photography, and I want a lot of people there. But here's the thing. Again, man, it's the holiday. It's a good chance that a lot of people have cleared out of Portland. Yeah, to spend some time away from the city. So it's kind of a coin toss. I'm not sure which would be the better location, but I just know I needed to get out, and I needed to do some, uh, some photography. I opted for Portland. I thought, I'll go down and see what's going on. If there's nobody down there, if it's empty streets, yeah, I can still go out to the coast. So I drove down to Portland. And yeah, I got onto the 405. And as soon as I got onto Burnside and I'm heading down into the city, I see so many people. People were enjoying their day out there. The city was, yeah, not empty, not a bunch of empty streets. So I had a blast, man. I talked to some people, got some cool shots. A lot of, just had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That's what, to me, <laughs> street photography, it's just a lot of fun. Get some cool shots. Maybe capture some cool moments. I like to look for some characters. Yeah, street photography, for me, is a lot of fun. It can get serious. But for right now, I'm just having fun with it. I will go ahead and show you some of the shots that I got, and yeah, you can let me know what you think. Okay. Yeah, man, had a great time. This is Roger. I talked to him for a while. Yeah, very cool cat, man. He gave me full permissions and licensing to use this image as I saw fit. This gal was very cool. I saw her walking around with her sign. You know, she looked serious, very serious about what she was, what she was out there to do. But as soon as I started talking to her, man smiles and she just softened up very sweet person man i love white shirts you're out shooting black and white street photography and i love the way white shirts just pop Man, I love this gal. I loved her sense of style, and, and I told her that. I let her know. But check out the cat in the background. There's the story.
just think. Man, it was a beautiful day out. It was like high 70s, maybe the 80s, but it wasn't hot. There was a coolness in the air. Yeah, it's definitely the end of summer. At least over here it is, the end of summer. I'm so glad I went down to Portland. There was plenty of people there. I'm happy with the shots that I got. And man, I just had a great time. It was nothing but fun. I had the best time getting out with my camera, shooting some film, and getting some shots that I liked. Now, as I mentioned before, I am just having fun. With this street photography, it's about getting out and having fun. Now, street photography, man, it can be intense, right? It can be very serious. You can tackle some, you know, really powerful subjects, some topics. Get those shots that are just, wow, powerful, right? But that's the thing with street photography. It's easy to go out, yeah, and just snap away and, and come back with a lot of shots. Especially if you're shooting digital, man, you can fill up card after card, right? Yeah, but to get those real powerful, magical shots. That's the thing about street photography is it can take you a lot of just getting out there, spending a lot of time. You can't just go out once a week or, hey, you hear Lisa? <laughs> yeah. You can't just go out like once a month or twice a month. No, if you're going to be real serious about street photography, you got to get out there all the time, more than once a week. Yeah. Learn how to wait. Don't walk too much. Spend time in one place. Let things happen. Let things come to you. Street photography, it can be incredibly powerful, but it can take some time. Take some real dedication to that genre. Yeah. For right now, I'm just having fun, man. Anyway, what did you think of the shots? Let me know. And I recommend that, yeah, just get out there. Get out there with your camera. Have some fun. Get some cool street stuff and share that. All right. Hey, I'm Ted Vera. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer anything I can. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.